I'd like to show you a quick tutorial on how to use the gears. The gear tool. So I'll click on the gear tool here and notice the menu comes up. We can have external gears, or even internal gears. So let's start with the external gears. That means the teeth are on the outside. And I'll create a gear here. I'm going to zoom in a bit. And there it is. And it has a certain number of teeth, and we can control that. Uh, I'm going to start the simulation, and I'm going to get the uh, force tool and just drag on it. You see that it does have an axle, so it's free to rotate around that uh, axle. So let's create a second gear. Maybe not quite so big. And now I'm going to use a move tool and position that gear. And let's run the simulation and see if they mesh. Well, they seem to mesh pretty good. I'm going to stop the simulation, deselect, and let's get a third gear. How about a larger gear? Kind of a really big gear. Get the move tool. And then I'm going to position that. Sometimes you have to kind of uh, tinker with the positions of these, and we'll see. We can always run it. And that's a fairly larger gear, so I'm going to get my force finger, and then there we go. I'll deselect it so you can see. I'll zoom out a little bit, pan, and there we have three gears. And, of course, the... Uh, Gear moving the slowest is a larger gear. The next slowest one is that mid-sized gear on the left. And, of course, the gear moving the fast because it has the smallest number of teeth is that center greenish-looking gear. Well, of course, gears do a couple of things. Number one, they change the direction of rotation. So this gear is rotating counterclockwise. This gear is rotating clockwise, which means this one would be counterclockwise. So you see how it's how easy it is to uh, add gears to all of your contraptions in your machines. Again, when you're working with Algodoo, have fun.